payment procedure. In the first case, where ALS and LPT at both end is not enabled, then what will be the scenario? What will be the alarm flow? So at A end, if there is an alarm, there is an alarm like R loss coming. So if there is no signal coming, then one ideal idle uh, stream is inserted from node A and accordingly there is a remote signal failure alarm is triggered at node B and that idle stream is uh, transparently inserted to the downstream client node so this will uh, keep the link up in case of local fault there will be local fault here and uh, the subsequent alarm flow is the same so idle f stream inserted here remote SF and uh, this will be and will keep the link up in case of bit errors the bit errors are as such transparently transmitted to the client B end but one condition is there that if these bit errors are not meeting the requirement of FCS, the, the uh, cyclic redundancy check requirement, this is more than the threshold, then it is dropped here itself. So in, in this scenario, uh, the next is to enable the ALS or, or LPT. So in this one is that ALS LPT disable but okay so this is a uh, ALS LP disable but the problem is in the section so it is quite similar to bit transparent mapping uh, the, the results are same that if any signal failure type of alarm ODUP, MEIS, OCI lock or OTU layer of alarm or trim triggered at ODU layer or OTU layer response enables then the local fault is inserted and then at downstream client will detect the local fault will alert and as a consequence in backend in the upstream direction inserted remote fault so all, all are the same and uh, because it is OTN network so it, if there is a signal failure alarm in the upstream direction BDIs uh, are triggered so BDI bit is there BDI bit is the uh, fifth bit in every SM and PM or TCM everywhere there is a BDI bit so this will be triggered back which is similar to any other uh, OTN network or alarm flow or any bit transparent that is the OTN rule. In case of degradation, the, the BIP related uh, bits are calculated and triggered and based on the uh, that there will be degrade alarm or excessive error alarm is triggered and in the upstream the performance for remote bit error is captured. In the downstream direct the bit errors will be passed on to the downstream client similar is the case of SM byte bitter so at uh, OTU layer this is the flow is the same now scenario 2 the case where LPT is only enabled so alarm remains the same only a downstream client B downstream client B there will be R loss and uh, because any client at uh, 10G get R loss or local fault, the trigger back would be the remote alarm. So this will be the remote alarm. The alarms will be the same. In case of LPT, the downstream direction laser will be off and in the upstream direction the laser will be on and off. So it will be on for 1.5 second and off for one second alternatively for local fault same remote SF laser will be off R loss and remote fault and uh, the laser will be off here too 
so this laser off alarm like NPT enabled alarm or the indication is triggered into the network management system in case of betterers it is transparently transmitted to the B end downstream client and uh, uh, th there is a case that in case uh, the alarms errors are too much then it is the signal is dropped and the transparent transparently transmission of bit bitter does not occur in case of LT enabled the consequence of alarm if the problem is in the in the uh, OTN network so line board to line board section if there is an issue the forward direction uh, the laser will be off and R loss so R loss will be there so in this case local fault is not inserted so local fault does not come here because that switch it will be switched off so inserting any pattern to inform the downstream end is of no use so it is laser is off so R loss then remote fault and in back end because there will be BDI so there will be laser off so in the uh, nothing much difference in terms of degrade it is the similar thing no laser goes off in case of errors now next scenario is ALS enabled LPT disabled and the problem is between the client equipment and the, uh, the OTN box so R loss triggers the remote SF laser goes off and if it is R loss trigger back is remote fault so in this case of ALS only the downstream direction a laser goes off and the indication is triggered to NMS that ALS enabled in case of local fault remote SF so in this case ALS is not enabled because there is no problem so if there is no problem between client and tributary board the another direction remote signal failure only alarm will be triggered at tributary board but laser will not be shut down so for the local fault case ALS does not work so remote fault is there bit errors are the same we have already covered it bit errors do not trigger any laser shutdown so the last scenario is that ALS is enabled and the issue is in OTN network so laser will be off if there is a problem in OTN into the forward direction and the R loss and remote fault remains the same because of OTN AIS there will be BDI and there will be no action at the A end or at the upstream end laser all other alarms are similar degrade alarm there is no laser off in case of degradation of alarms in uh, ALS and the uh, OTN alarm capturing uh, as backward error and further forwarding the error flow is the same so this concludes the alarm signal flow for uh, MAC transparent 10G mapping using GFP into OTN so thank you very much